Fund B addresses the power outage situation in the state of Texas. What's going on, everybody? All right, so I'm in Houston, Texas. As you can see, I have power in my house. Um, but 56% of the people in the city don't have power. I don't have running water in my house. There's a, a growing number of people in Houston. I think it was maybe a third of people, but now I think it's starting to grow. And even in small towns around Texas, like Baytown and Port Arthur, they've shut the water off completely so that their water system does not get destroyed right now. Texas does not have the infrastructure to deal with something like this. It was never anticipated. And so that's why you have so many people with freezing pipes because the majority of people in Houston do not have insulated pipes because there was necessarily not a need. Um, let's talk energy. Let's talk about this 56% of people in Houston that don't have energy right now. It's because Texas is the only state in the United States in the 48 continental United States that isn't connected to the federal um, supply of energy. Why is that? Because Texas broke away from it, privatized it, monetized it for their own purposes. And, and now the residents in Texas are suffering. People in Houston, people in Baytown, Conroe, Willis, people in Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, and all these little small towns in between. I don't know if the news is really talking about this on the national level, but people are here. They just asked for a refrigerated truck in Galveston County to help store bodies because they have more than 20 bodies that they need to store right now. People are dying from carbon monoxide in their homes right now. I can't even tell you how many thousands of people in Houston are choosing to have to, have, well, they not choose, they have no choice. They're sleeping in their cars outside to try to keep them and their families warm. People are in their house with multiple hoodies and coats and stuff. And keep in mind, this is Houston, Texas. So a lot of these people with coats, they don't have North Face. They don't have Columbia jackets. They don't have insulated coats. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to let everybody know about what's really going on out here. Meanwhile, our governor is blaming it on renewable energy. Renewable energy is only 10% of the energy in the state of Texas. It's only 10%. So don't get on Fox and tell that lie. Try to, per, you know, perpetuate some kind of political agenda. This ain't got to do with politics. Democrats are in Texas. Republicans are in Texas. Independents. Unitarian, whatever the fuck it is you are. You know what I'm saying? People are in Texas. We have to... We got to do better. Greg Abbott, Dan Patrick, y'all let this happen to this state. Y'all let this happen to the state. We're not talking about ice on the roads and none of that. That's far from the problem. That's far from the problem. The problem is this power situation. Real shit. The problem is this power situation. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So we're going to have to do like Georgia did, y'all, and turn this mother blue. Queenie says she ready to be the next Stacey Abrams. I'm sure going to be right there with her. Texas deserve better than we supposed to be the greatest state in the goddamn United States. The people of Texas deserve better than this, man. Like for real. We're going to look up y'all and it's going to be a lot of people you, they can't even they're not even really sure how many people are poisoned by carbon monoxide i think they had 300 people so far not but sick but i know right now we're i know we have i think it's four so far from carbon monoxide i'm gonna get some better numbers and come back about that but just just know people are sleeping outside people are people are freezing it I'm pretty, oh, I know there was an elderly couple. 
There was an elderly couple that in their house. People having to, people bringing barbecue pits in their house because they don't know better because they've never been through this. People are starting cars in the garage, sitting in the garage on the phone, trying to charge their phone and stay warm. Getting carbon monoxide because they never, they don't know how to, they don't know how this is done. And no, they're not reporting this. I guarantee you, they're not talking about all this. We, I'm talking about when we, when this is all said and done, and we actually start getting a real count, man. It's just we're gonna have a lot of people, unfortunately, that seriously injured or because of the ramifications of not having power in their homes for their family, because the state playing the same old bull money game with people's lives that they've been playing. Shout out to my brother, Trey the Truth and Relief Game, Mr. Rogers, the squad and the volunteers and everybody that's helping get them food so they can get food to people, warm meals to people while Relief Gang is suffering on their own. Still putting the people over themselves. I pray for their safety. But man, this here, man, this, this, this ain't going to work. Get Texas back where it needs to be. Not privatized with energy, but in a place where we could have easily been sent resources for this. We can do better than this, Texas. Make sure y'all remember this when it's time to vote again in 22. Where the fuck is your congressman right now? Where the fuck are these people? They probably freeze it too, but they ain't gonna say because they still kissing. Pray for Texas. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.